and what is up everyone welcome back to the part 4 of this tutorial series on how to make a VR game with the Oculus Rift. Today's episode will be about a very important subject which is user interface in virtual reality. We will learn the correct way to put UI in VR but also how you can interact easily with them using a VR pointing system. So without further ado let's get started. Ok, so I will start by showing you the wrong way to do user interface. Normally, for creating UI in Unity, you will right click on the scene hierarchy, select UI, then click on canvas. This will create two game objects, the canvas, which is the area that contains UI elements and an event system, which handles the interaction with the UI. You can see your canvas in the scene by pressing the 2D button here on the scene window and then you can scroll until you see this big square. Now, inside this canvas, I can create image, buttons, toggles, sliders, etc. But here I'm just going to create a simple text. For that, right click under the canvas, create UI text. And if I want my text to match the size of my canvas, I can select the stretch mode and put zero offset value in the back transform. Now, I can change the text content its size and put it in the middle of this area. So now if I press play, you are able to see the text, but inside the VR headset I am not able to see it. The reason for that is that our canvas has a render mode set to screen space overlay. And as said by Unity, this mode puts UI in front of the screen, but not for our headset to see. So now let's try the second mode, screen space camera. Nice, now I'm able to see my text. But there is still an issue here. This text is following my head when I'm moving and we can think that for a game it's quite of wanted but in VR this is quite the opposite. Even the text following my headset is nauseous and it's even difficult to read even when I put, uh, when I reduce its size. If you want UI to feel good in VR you have to see them like if they were present in the real environment. And this is exactly what the third mode is for. The name is World Space. So first select this mode, then we will scale down our canvas to uh, something a little bit smaller, then reset its position, and now I can put it in my scene like a normal game object. And if I press play, you can see that the text is now part of my scene. I am able to read it easily and it feels really really comfortable. However, if your text needs more, need to move around your player, there is two solutions. Either smooth its position in front of the camera or put it as a child of an object. For example, here I have put my text as a child of my gun and by modifying the shooting script of my gun from last episode I can display how many bullets are left on the barrel. Ok, so now that we know how to display UR for VR we will try to interact with them. We will create another canvas then instead of a text, I will create a button instead. As you can see, if I press play, I am able to interact with the button with my mouth. So what we will do is, instead of using the mouth, we will use a ray that will come from our N in VR to interact with the button. Okay, so let's put first the canvas to world space and scale it down like we did for the text. Now remove the canvas raycaster component and instead add the OVR raycaster. Now search in your project for UI helpers and drag the prefab in your scene. The prefab contains an event system that will replace the previous one, so we can now delete it. Finally, the last thing we have to do is drag the laser pointer game object as the pointer of the OVR raycaster 
and set the event camera of the canvas to the camera located in the center I enter. And now everything is set. For the example here, I have created a little script that spawned a stack of cube, and now we can trigger this method every time we click on the button by here clicking the plus uh, button in the Unity editor, then drag the script we just created and select the function we want to trigger. Okay, so now if I press play, you can see that if I point the button with, with my hands and if I press the A button, like a click, the button will spawn cube. However, we could not see the ray that was getting out of my hand to select the button. So for that, we will scale up the sphere under, under UI helpers. Then in the laser pointer, we will enable the line renderer and make it a little bit bigger. Finally, click on the laser pointer script and change the laser pointer behavior from private to public so that we can see it in the Unity Inspector window. Okay, so now we can put it to on when targeting so that it will appear when we are aiming UI elements. Okay, and here we go. Now we can easily see the pointer and everything feels more nice. You can even change the selecting button by going on the Joypy click button properties in the event system game object. And moreover, this will work with any interactable user interface. How awesome is that? And that is all for today. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this tutorial. And in the next episode, we will take a look at haptic feedback for virtual reality so that our gun can vibrate when we shoot. So see you in the next episode.